Now we're going to look at the same example as before, but this time using the finance solver on the CAS to answer the question. So I'll remind you again, Dean takes out a loan of $10,000 for 10 years. The interest is compounded monthly, and at the end of the loan, he owes $16,300. What is the interest rate per annum rounded to one decimal place? So here we're going to menu 8, which is finance, and 1, we're opening up the finance solver. Now N, that's the number of payments or the number of periods. So that is 10 years times 12 periods per year. That's 120. Press tab to get to the next box. That is the interest rate. Well, that's what we're looking for, so we don't need to put anything there yet. We'll go to the next one, PV. That's the present value, which is the original amount. That's our V0. Now, because this is a loan, we have to be very careful with the sign. The loan, the money is coming into his pocket at the beginning. He's getting $10,000, so it's positive, $10,000. There is no payment. The future value is the amount that he owes in the end. In the end, Dean owes 16300 and he has to pay that back. That money leaves his pocket and goes back to the bank. Leaving his pocket means it's sad, negative $16,300. negative $16,300. PPY, payments per year. Don't really worry too, about this too much, but the next one is CPY, and they are both, since we are dealing with a monthly situation, PPY and CPY are both 12. Payment at the end, we never touch that. And we go to the interest rate again, because that's what we wanted to find. Press Enter, and we get approximately 4.9% which is what we had gotten before when we were doing the question by hand. So once again, 4.9% is the interest rate per annum.